We got two stinkers out exploring. Let's get in the trash. Two stinkers out exploring. Oh yeah. It's past my bedtime, but they're up wanting to run around. So we got to uh please them. Give them their time. Hey buddy, where you headed? Where are you headed? Oh, look at your beautiful tiger pattern, huh? So one thing about having these snakes is they're nocturnal by nature. So when you're ready for bed, they're just getting started most of the time with most retics my other retic has a bit different sleeping pattern but these two are definitely living up to their nocturnal nature oh hi bud want to come say hi oh, oh. yeah Uh, asleep digesting a meal and this guy of course he's getting into trouble here knocking stuff over in expert fashion he's an expert at knocking things over Should have mentioned she's also an expert at knocking things over what retake outing would be complete without a thorough knockover of something yep so this is the retake life <laughs> This is what it's all about right here. Having them out. Exploring, doing snake stuff. Being active. Checking himself out in the mirror. He's probably gonna enter shed soon. A little pig just ate like two days ago and he's already up and active. Didn't sleep very long. These guys have probably the highest metabolism of all the large snakes. Not probably, I think they do. I'm talking about berms and anacondas. Not really sure about rock pythons. How they stack up. That's the only one of the giants that I haven't ever owned. Oh, you're on the move, bud. You're on the move.
This is the retake life. The snakes cruising around. And their exercise. Getting some enrichment, exploring stuff. We're in the colder winter months, so can't take them outside during this time of year, really. At least not too much. You might get a sunny, warm day every now and then. Or it's suitable for them to venture outside for a little bit, but for the most part, we just don't even bother. We just let them have their time inside. It only lasts for about four or five months. And we're back to suitable warm weather. Somebody's coming up to say hi. Hey there, bud. Oh, hello to you too. Say hello. there. Oh, hello there. Just climbing up my shoulder and see how high she goes. Let's see where she goes. She's investigating. Oh yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Let's see. Let's see her in the mirror over there. Climbing up. Come say hello. Check out my face. Hmm? Or are you gonna get tangled up in all my camera? That's what you're gonna do, huh? Oh, where is she headed? Sorry if that's not coming in. Do great. There we go. You're checking out the camera. Oh, you're gonna just climb on my camera? Well, if she turns it off, you'll know what happened. Oh. <laughs> Where are you going? You're all tangled up. You're ruining my lighting. Oh, oh, where'd we go? Just climb all over my head. Yep. Yep. Who else has come to join us? Who else is over here joining us, huh? You decided to climb up here too. Oh, oh. <laughs> Alright, bud. Let's get you down. There we go. There we are. Let's see over here. Who else is joining us, huh, bud? He's come to say hello as well. I think he's not climbing up my head. I can only handle one snake climbing up my head at a time. Oh, oh. Hey, snake, you're messing with my camera guy. Where is she headed? Get back over there to the counter. Here we are. That works. That works. Look how pretty you are. There's a moth in here. That's one pretty snake, huh? And of course, right back to trying to knock things over. Let's 
see. Oh, thank you. Thank you for going around. Oh, don't knock that off. That'll definitely break. Yeah, yeah. All right. I think we're going to cut it short here. Exercise for a little bit longer. All right, see ya.